Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Cares, Amy's Pet Rescue 911. And we are about to dive into a very extreme pet rescue because we are going to try to rescue Ash, the award-winning racehorse, from being inappropriately uh, used with medication steroids to make her win the races so that these two big buffoons up in the middle here can earn tons of money by cheating all of the bets on the race, which is just completely unexpected acceptable and unfortunately our cat hunter back at home is getting really sick we have to get the police involved everything is just kind of coming to a head and we're gonna have to figure out what we are going to do and apparently Maggie is going to be stopping by and we're gonna be playing with her but we have <gasps> Maggie good girl oh I'm so excited that she's here all right just like we planned Maggie will bark if she sees Sherman come in right Maggie Yay, Maggie! Maggie, we rescued her life even though Sherman told us to just let her die uh, in order to like save money. It was so ridiculous and now the police dog is going to help us save Ash the horse. I like how it's all come full circle. Right, and Officer Murray will hide out and wait. Odd place for a stakeout, I have to admit. <laughs> I mean, this is the fanciest horse stable ever. <laughs> To be completely honest, I would be very confused if I was told to like go conduct some sort of sting and I walked into a stable and it had chandeliers hanging from the ceiling and fountains and fresh grass planted in the stalls for the horses. It's just absolutely over the top. Right before he gives Ash steroids, I'll arrest him. We'll test the vial at the station. Combined with the video, we'll have conclusive proof. While we wait. Amy and I will work like it's business as usual. He usually sneaks in early in the morning or late at night to avoid me seeing him. It's okay, Maggie. Uh, it, that's okay. Maggie and I are patient. Right, girl? Good girl, Maggie. Hopefully he won't recognize Maggie, but I guess today we're supposed to play with Maggie when she pops in. Maybe distract her a little bit. I am never buying ever buying Jade some sort of fancy trophy award case. Are you kidding? She and her family, they don't deserve any of those awards. They don't deserve their fancy horse. They don't deserve their fancy house. I refuse. I'm putting my foot down. Nothing new for them. Nope. All right, so let's see what we can do today. Let's go ahead and restock everything first. Oh, I almost forgot the saddle pads and we always need more of those. All right, looks like a little bit of hay for you, sir. Right on it. And then can I grab anything for you, ma'am, really quickly? I think I can throw the saddle together. Wonderful. Yeah, we're right on top of it. Maggie, hey! All right, give me just a second, Maggie. We'll go over and play with you. Let's clean up this section. Let's go ahead. Oh, and I need to trim this horse's hair on it. Need to get some new hay. Hello, beautiful. Hopefully no one has been bothering you either. All right, oh, and there's the mouse, yes! All right, some more hay as well. And then, oh, oh man, I was really hoping I would be able to get like a huge combo. Oh well. All right, let's go ahead and clear out those dirty stalls. Maggie is back and wants to be played with. We'll come over and give her a little pet. She's a good girl, but I kind of feel like somebody should notice that a police dog is on the premises. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably gonna be pretty obvious that something's up. Or maybe everybody here is just really oblivious. All right, I think I might be able to get a triple combo. Yes, look at that. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, we've got some horse's hooves to clean. We have another stall to clean out. All right, there's that, there's that, there's that. Ah, wonderful. Oh, Maggie, you're back. I'm really, like, I really do feel like somebody should notice there's kind of a police dog here. What could that be all about, eh? All right, let's go ahead and give these two the things that they need. Wonderful. Check them out. More hay for the horses coming on up. There we go. Got to clean this stall so that she can bring her horse over. Doing pretty good on keeping things stocked. Oh, Maggie, I'm coming. I'm coming for the pets. There we go. Good girl. All right, so I'm going to want hay for her, saddle for him. Can I? Oh, no. I don't think I can put this all together fast enough that he'll be patient. All right, we'll clean out this spot. Oh, I need to tighten the saddle. Go, go, go. Oh, I always forget that I'm gonna to have to tighten the saddle for them and every time it makes me panic. All right, let's keep some hay on me just in case. Oh, look at this. 
And I can possibly line up three people for checkout. Nice. Maggie, 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 Maggie. I almost missed out on the very last one with her. Ugh, that would have sucked to lose the challenge. All right, let's take care of these. Get this guy some gloves. Ah, we've got this. I'm not so worried. It's not quite as difficult as I always fret that it's going to be. All right, we'll check these people out. I'm still learning the balance between like checking people out. There we go. And making them wait so that I can get combos. You know, if that was a real store, I would be so mad. <laughs> like, how dare you make me stand in line and just stare at me just so that you can have like six people checked out at the same time. That's bad policy if you can actually run a store. All right, there's that. We can check these guys out at the same time at least. There we go. All right, so I hope we managed to catch him red-handed today because that is not cool that Sherman is doing that to Ash. Really treating Ash more like, very much more like a possession. And I think it's going to be very interesting. Oh, I always forget I have to tighten these. I've never done this before. You're gonna fall off. You're, that's dangerous. Only allow an expert to like mess around, oh dear, to mess around with your saddles, okay? All right, there's those two. We'll clear this out. Oh, she's very easy to please. That's fantastic. Can I get something for him? Nope, not anytime soon. Yeah, there we go. Now we don't have to worry because we have three stars. All right, and we'll take care of the rest of this. But I really, I hope that Sherman goes to jail for a super long time. And they, we don't ever have to worry about something happening. Well, and I, that brings the question of like how much of the wealth from this family has actually been illegally gained if they have been doing things to their horses to win. Huh. I have a feeling we're definitely going to end up breaking up with Jasper at this rate. Just saying. And I don't think, I really think that Jack is actually married and that fact has just like gone over our head all these months. Oh, here we go. Let's get the police. Well, how much longer should we wait? It's pretty late. I'd say any minute. Unless he isn't coming tonight. <gasps> oh no, really? He may have caught on. Oh, Maggie. All right, he's on his way. Ready? Here we go. We're coming for you, Sherman. Ha, <laughs> look at you. Like, all right then. One more dose and I'll be a rich man. Freeze. The game's up, Sherman. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, this feels so good. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Unfortunately, he'll probably go away longer for, uh, for like the bet, uh, like what, what do they call it for like fixing the, the gambling rather than actually the horse involvement, but hopefully it'll be for a long time. You should take a hint, Sherman. It's over. How dare you? How, do you have any idea how much damage you've done to Ash? All for money. What's wrong with you? You did the right thing, Amy. Thanks, Jack. That means a lot. All right, Sherman. Let's go. He probably has enough money to just, like, get bail, though, which sucks. Ash, good luck. At this point, you've kind of stood there like a paper horse the whole time, but hopefully this will turn out well. Uh, we can get more than 350 in tips, or we will carry on. Prepare- <gasps> What?! Jade's gonna have a new horse and be disqualified? Oh my gosh, how is this gonna go down with the family? Oh my gosh, and Jasper! Are you mad? He doesn't look mad. But Jasper, seriously, what was I supposed to do? Well, I don't know, but not this. Jade will never win now. Ash has been disqualified. But you have all these other horses, and Jade's a good rider. You don't understand anything about this world at all, do you? Well, maybe I don't. Not if it's a world where you treat animals like objects. Oh, here we go. Oh, look how angry Jade is. They're so mad and they don't even care. This is all your fault. I'm going to lose the biggest championship of my life. Because of you. Because of me? This is because somebody tried to fix this race. Let's not jump to any conclusions, my dear. Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Amy just didn't understand what she was doing. Jasper, 
Now, now he's officially on my no-go list. Oh, this is such a relief to have a good reason to just want to get rid of him. She made an honest mistake. I knew exactly. What's done is done. For now, let's focus on the next best horse. But the championship is tomorrow. It's... Then get to work. Dang. Jasper, Yeah, no, dude. Amy, I'm sorry she shouted at you. I need to be alone right now, Jasper. I've got work to do. Man. Yeah, that relationship was doomed. <laughs> no, no more money for you bad people. I refuse. I absolutely refuse to give you any more funds. I wonder if she's, I mean, she must be a fairly competent writer because she seems like she's not like completely, completely unaware of how to be a good horse rider, but we'll have to see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and take care of these two really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep some extra hay on me because I always seem to need extra. And, oh, go, 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 go. We need that saddle like stat. All right, and we've got him. All right, got her, her helmets. We need to take care of this hair. Oh, I got the mouse, no, horse, horse, you're blocking the mouse. Okay, I got the mouse, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, there's that. Gonna have the extra hay on me. That means that we'll be able to take care of this group pretty well. Awesome. All right, check this guy out. Clean out these stables. I, this guy's kind of slow at cleaning him out, but I imagine it takes a long time to muck out a horse stable, so I shouldn't judge. Oh, look at that, I actually had the extra hay on me, nice. All right, we're gonna come over here, take care of this horse. I really, I kind of like the grooming jobs quite a bit because it does feel like you're sprucing up the horse a lot. There we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and give you, there we go. And you know, it just hit me, doing all of these tasks kind of reminds me of when you can hire your friends when you're playing Horse Haven. <laughs> so maybe this is what all of those people who come to work as, uh, as my stable hands in Horse Haven are actually doing. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, why do I always forget? I always forget I'm gonna have to tighten the saddle for him and every time it makes me panic. Oh, and that woman just wanted hay. I could have made everybody wait. Oh well. All right, let's grab some hay, clean this. What do you want, sir? Easy things. Please let me get a combo. Please let me get a combo. Yes. Awesome. Very nice. All right, I've got some hay, clean that. Take care of him. And the new horse needs, right on time, a little hair trim. Got it. I wonder how that is like supposed to affect preparing it for training though. What do you guys who ride horses do the day before your horse goes into a race to prepare it for training out of curiosity? Like, do you limber up? Do you go out and like go around a ring? Do you go on some like little, little jaunts? Or do you rest like 100%? Because I have absolutely no idea. All right, there we go. Checked her out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, why is it the one time I don't have an extra hay bag on me? There we go. All right, that horse is taken care of. So no one can say that it was our quality of care that affected the race. Wonderful. And let's trim these away. There we go. Let's also grab a fancy new stave or saddle. Check everybody out. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. All right. And riding crop. Huh. This is so relaxing. <laughs> Why do I find these kinds of things relaxing? I have no idea, but I do. Probably because I can make everything nice and tidy and take care of everybody. All right, there we go. Check her out. We're kind of a long way from three stars, but I think we'll be okay. However, whatever money we end up saving, it does get to go to our grandfather's pet clinic, Arthur's pet clinic when we return to him. So it'll be interesting to see there's that, there's that, almost done. There, it'll be interesting to see how that wraps up. And actually, if you guys were going to run a vet clinic, what kind of animals would you wanna take care of? I know a lot of people say cats. We have a lot of people who go into veterinary science from our community who really wanna go in for cats. And I know quite a few actually who wanna go in for horses too. <laughs> and it's definitely a lot more work than this. All right, there we go. Everything's getting nice and tidy. He just needs a riding crop. Check him out. And we should be good to go because I found the mouse earlier, so I'm not worried. And this is on expert level, no less. Ha, huh, we've got this. Time to move on. We've got bigger fish to fry. Maybe we just need to like specialize in solving animal crimes. All right, we'll take care of him. 
Come on down. Check both of these people out. Clean up here. The day is now finished, thank goodness. And boom. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully this horse is going to lead Jade to victory, but I don't have a very good feeling about this. I do, however, I'm going to memorize the layout of the stable and maybe build something like it in our zoo crafting world because it's quite nice. No, Hunter! I forgot about you, Hunter! Oh no! Oh my gosh, there's a picture of us with Jasper up on the wall! Since when have we had a picture of Jasper in our house? That is new. I still love the giraffe magnet too. He isn't getting worse, but this is too long of a recovery. I think something else is going on here. You and Amy can save him though, right? Situations like this one aren't always pretty, Crystal. This poor kitten was badly mistreated before making it to the shelter. Can you let Amy know I'm taking him to critical care? Of course. I'll run her down there tomorrow, right after the race. I'm going to do some tests tonight. If there's a problem, we need to act tomorrow at the latest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hunter! Oh, Ash. What am I doing here? How did everything get so... so... Jack's here. Hunter's still too thin and tired. Jack thinks we need to run tests. He's going to critical care tonight. I'm coming to get you tomorrow, first thing. It just never stops, does it, Ash? Oh, Amy! <laughs> I'm really worried about that kitten! Maybe Grandpa can help? Is that how we end up back at his place? Well, I'm bringing Grandpa lots of money that none of you awful people here get, okay? <laughs> but alright, next time when we come back, we are going to finish up the horse stable challenge and we're going to see the conclusion, probably not only of what happens at the race, but possibly our job at the positive pet clinic and definitely our relationship with Jasper and his family. Finally! Oh, so, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!